Hi, welcome to SimplyScuba.com. In this session, we're taking a look at the Oceanic VT4 dive computer. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So this is a real little feature-rich dive computer, ideal for all different types of divers of all different types of levels. Some of the features that we've got with it first, nice large wrist strap on the back, not only fit around your wetsuit cuff, but also fit nicely around a dry suit cuff as well. Good strong rubberized cover around the outside, keep the dive computer nicely protected from any bumps and bangs. Screen protector on the front, obviously, to keep the screen nicely protected. You've got three operating buttons on here as well, two towards the front, we've also got one on the side there. And on the other side, we have the PC interface connection on the other side as well. The dive computer itself is wireless compatible, so you can buy an optional wireless transmitter for your cylinder, giving you all the information that you need on your dive about your cylinder pressure and also give you your dive remaining time as well. We have a user replaceable battery on the back, so it's obviously going to cut down any maintenance costs as you can pop a new battery in there if and when you need it. And as we said before, it's a nice little rugged design. Some of the other features as well, we've also got audible alarms in here. There's also a little flashing light towards the bottom as well, just to catch your attention whenever there's any important information that needs to be received. And the menu system is very easy to use as well. So if we go ahead and take a look at some of the menu functions and also some of the other functions within the computer itself. So the screen on the computer, as you can see, nice and easy to read. Just to mention, it does normally come with a screen protector on the front there, but we have removed that just so you can see the screen a little better. Obviously, it makes everything a little easier to see. So currently in its dive mode, we've got the dive time towards the top there, surface time. It's also stuck in normal mode, as you can see, normal dive mode. Air pressure on the one side, we've also got some of the information down towards the bottom. So while it's in this mode, it is a water activated computer, so once you get in, it will automatically turn itself on. Obviously, you can normally turn it on by pressing any one of the three buttons to get the information up. So pressing on the advanced button while in dive mode will scroll through to your last dive information and also give you current time and current temperature as well. Pressing advanced again, goes through back into the dive mode. Also while in dive mode, you can hold down the select button on the side here, give this a push, a couple of seconds, and you'll turn on the built-in digital compass. Nice handy little thing to have. Obviously push down the select button again for another couple of seconds and you go back into the dive mode. So, very simple operation on the dive mode level. Now, if you press down the mode button, you then go through into the menu system. You then use the bottom two buttons here to scroll up and down through the separate menu sections. So, we've got fly and desaturation time at the top there. And using the advanced button to scroll downwards, you've got plan, log, set menu. You've then got the dive mode settings history, you've also got the current uh, system upgrade menus on here as well so you can know what firmware that you've got installed onto the computer. That's one of the main benefits of having an Oceanic computer as well, the firmware is all updatable so you can keep up to date with any current changes. You've then got battery information so you can get information on how much battery charge is left within the battery itself so you know when to change it. You've then got dive preview and then back up towards the top. So, very simple to scroll through those menu systems. When you want to select one of the options, you then just press the select button on the side. And that goes through into the menu system itself. You then use the bottom two buttons to scroll through the different options within that menu section. And then holding down the select button again, it will take you back to the main menu section part of the options. So, very simple and easy to navigate yourself through the, the computer itself. Got some very clever little additions as well. You can switch between three different gases on the computer. You can also have up to three different transmitters on the computer itself as well. So obviously if you've got different mixes on a dive, you can switch between them wirelessly. Also maybe if your buddy has got one of the wireless transmitters, you can go up to them using one of these settings on the computer and find out how much air they've got left within their cylinder and other option menus as well. So a really nifty little computer to have. As we did say, you can buy those wireless transmitters extra as well and we also do a package where you can buy both the computer and the transmitter together. So a fantastic little computer, very easy to use, really well made. Come and take a closer look here at simplyscuba.com.